folks and welcome to the Movie Mad channel, it's James here. I am going to take a leaf out of Blue Rise book and I'm going to start filming a shelf by shelf video. But just to let you know, my shelves are not in alphabetical order. They just are... There is an organisational system, but if you ask me to explain it, I'd struggle and you'd struggle to understand. <laughs> And to be honest with you, it's not that great of an organisational uh, system. So, I'm going to start on this shelf here, which is basically the top shelf of my black bookcases. And there's like a wee stand next to it. I include the wee bits, that, the wee bits of the seven or ten movies that are in the little stand next to it as a shelf. And it's slightly out of alignment, as you can see. So, I'm going to start with this shelf. And I'm going to move along. And we'll just discuss the movies and see if you can spot any pattern to my organisation on the, on, on the shelf. Now, this one here, I'm just going to do shelf one. And I say these are shelves that are a lot smaller than noise, these ones. I've got ones that have got maybe a hundred movies on them. So again, I might split them up, but we'll see. So let's start off with this one, shelf here. And the first movie is The Last Samurai on HD DVD. Now, I do have some HD DVDs, but not many. And I don't think I have The Last Samurai on Blu-ray yet, so that's why I've kept that one. I'll keep that one out, so we've got a wee bit of leeway to discuss it. So, next one I have is Suspiria, which I paid £2.50 for in the charity shop. And, guess what? I haven't watched it. <laughs> Cross of Iron, I have watched it. It's a great war movie. And this movie that's coming up next terrified me as a kid. Absolutely terrified me as a kid. Watched it in school. And I haven't opened this one copy yet, but it is Threads. Remastered. We also next have the German release of Stalingrad. And you know what, I'm actually going to just check this just to make sure I haven't made the mistake. Uh, as the same as the... Same as the Rainmaker. And this might only have English, this might only have German on it. it says German audio. This might only have German on it. <laughs> then we have a random season with Cobra Kai season three. Next we have is The Girl Next Door, which is, I actually think it's a good romantic comedy movie. We have American History X with Edward Norton, another good movie. This one was a gift from Larry, and I haven't quite watched it yet, but it's a good war movie. That's maybe one I should put in the player, if you've seen my previous videos, uh, and watch it and get it ready for a night time, but I've already got one in there at the moment, so... I can wait. Classic Johnny Five Short Circuit, <laughs> and then Larry sent us this this, this disc uh, to have an opinion on. It's still on my shelf. It's a Nicolas Cage movie. <laughs> Is this the worst movie I've ever seen? Possibly. And it's Prisoners of Ghostland, but there are worse ones than that. So we'll move around a bit. Let's turn on to here and let's get one out of the shelf just to make it a little bit easier to move along and we'll show you that one in a second so we'll start off with Hercules the rocks Hercules in 3D I found that special which I've not watched yet The World's End that's a that's a oh, that's a, that's a good movie 
Dominic, and then we have the Instrument Ninja Turtles 3D, which I quite enjoyed. I thought it was a good one as well. Flash Gordon. I'd like to say I've seen that all the way through, but I'd be lying, I think. And I had the older Blu-ray. It traded in for five quid, and that was eight in the in, in CX, so I upgraded. Got Wormwood, Road of the Dead. I have seen that one. I thought that was pretty good. We then have David Bowie and the Man to, Who Fell to Earth. Again, not watched it. Fallen Idol. Again, not seen it. There's a common theme here, isn't there? I really need to get to some of these. Uh, Thor Ragnarok. Another one I've not watched. Justice League. I really, really need to start watching some of these movies, don't I? Not seen it. Three Musketeers. I have seen it but a long time ago in 3D. Fright Night with Colin Farrell in 3D. Again, that's a good, I think that's a decent remake. The original's good, but that one's not too bad. Captain Marvel. Everybody hated that one, but I quite liked it. Everyone I've seen Avengers Assemble in 3D. And that was a that's a decent Marvel movie. Then we've got Civil War. <laughs> Not in three D. Doctor Strange. I think this is one of the one in three D, but I think this is one of the decent, really decent Marvel movies. I like that one a lot. I do. Guardians of the Galaxy. Again, another decent Marvel movie. Captain America: The Winter Soldier. Probably one of the best Marvel movies, again in 3D. And then we've got Ant-Man in 3D. So that is another Marvel movie. Michael Douglas, I thought was really good. And then we've got Iron Man 3 in 3D. And I don't remember much about that. I'm just going to pause for a second so I can move the camera along. Quartermaster in the pit. Have they seen it? Toxic Avenger. Have they seen it? Ben Hart. I've definitely seen it. And a three disc Ultimate Collection. That is a 4K. Charlton Heston, one of my favourite actors. That I have many. <laughs> El Cid. I've seen some of it. I haven't seen it all the way through. Earthquake. I have seen that as well, and that's a classic 70s disaster movie. And this one might surprise you. Coming up. The French, well, surprise me that I've not seen it yet. And that's The French Connection 1 and 2. That's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to work when I'm do, putting my movies in my player at night. I'm going to work my way along the shelf. Then we have Mississippi Burning. Another great one where... Gene Hackman. The Package with Gene Hackman. I haven't watched that one yet. Favourite Gene Hackman movie of mine. Bat 21, Spanish release. Another Gene Hackman one I've not got around to yet, which is The Conversation. And then we've got Owen Wilson and Gene Hackman in Behind Enemy Lines. And there's some premium collections along at the end. We've got The Night Moves. Even though that's sealed, I have seen that movie recently. I thought it was decent. Here's a couple of Roy. I think Roy might have just watched this one. And that's another Charlton Heston in Soylent Green. We then have... This was a really, really hard premium collection to get for me. It took me ages to get this one. And that's the Omega Man. That's probably my favourite Charlton Heston movie. 
Which, is there any ones in here that you think are your favourite? Maybe you should have a look. In Roy, or, or tell me in the comments in Roy style. So, we've also got <laughs> Sea Wolf in the Rainbow Collection. Not seen it. 36 hours with James Garner. Not seen it. Fatal Attraction with the Bunny Boiler with Michael Douglas. Certainly have seen it. Mighty Joe Young. Have not seen it. The first edition of the Premium Collection from 1954. Them with the giant ants. And I most definitely have seen that. I've watched it seven or eight times. And I really like the concept of that. Giant ants taking over the world. Can you stop them? From nuclear radiation. 1954. Decent, decent movie for that that time period. And we've got Running on Empty. Another premium collection I've not seen yet. But I got it because it's got the guy at the Independence Day in it. And is that River Phoenix as well? It is. Then we have The Wax Museum. 1933. Not watched it yet. The Rewake of Midway. Which is actually a very... I thought it was a decent film. I got this really cheap. I watched it two or three times. I thought it was pretty good. We've got Top Gun here. Classic for me. I have got on 4K but it's in the premium collection. So I did double up on that one. Then we have... Oh, sticking together these ones. Probably because they've got CEX stickers on them. Have they? Is that why it is? It is. Yeah, look. Oh no, is that going to break there? Need to sort that out a bit, don't I? The Possessed. Haven't seen it. Big Wednesday. Again, haven't seen it, but I've got it because it's got the guy from Airwolf in it. What's his name again? Ja uh, yeah, Jan Michael Vincent. It's also got a uh, Gary Bush in it. And, you know, the premium collections are going out of print. So I have bought a lot of these, not knowing that I've watched them. But I'm going to watch them, but I just haven't watched them yet. Because if you're going to get them in CEX and they are out of print, you better get them now. So that's in the same vein I picked up. They were expendable with Robert Montgomery and John Wayne. And Donna Reed. So that is my first shelf. And I'm going to continue to do these videos all the way to the end of my shelves. I might then go up to the top with the TV box sets or the other movie box sets. And I've also got DVDs and VHS. Or I keep still want to stop calling them, and that's videos. So that's one shelf. I was going to attempt to do. Maybe a second shelf in this, but that would take the video to 30 minutes. And I think that's a, that's a bit long, uh, a bit long for, for these videos. So I think trying to keep them to around about 15 minutes is probably the right one. Length. But what movie on that shelf do you think or do you like? Let me know. And I say if you do want to subscribe and like the video, I'd appreciate that. You know what my pick for this shelf is? It's a difficult one because it's got short circuit on it. It's got the Mega Man. It's got threads. It's got Crossy Iron. Girl next up. That's a tough one. I think I'm going to have to say the Mega Man for me. Is, is it me or is there a lot of classics on that shelf? Alright, well thanks guys for watching. Put in the comments if you have a opinion on that. And that way I'll find out. So I'll see you next time. Thanks guys.